Even in the middle of winter, beauty grows. These are called frost roses. They're so pretty. Soon they will open up. chicken coop and just as soon as you start cleaning it up they all want to be in there that's right Kevin's hacking away at that tree he's got a whole bunch of it cut. Now we're just putting it in smaller pieces. And uh, man, it's really windy out here. I uh, finished the coop and I'm going to put some wood ash down for him now. Because I like to get in that and roll in it. Well then I'll show you. It's so nice to get it clean. But it is. Alright, I'm stuck on the fence, y'all. It's a uh, major, major job. So here it is, all cleaned up for them. They'll knock all the chips out of there. They're gonna lay their eggs there, even though they have the egg in there. They lay right over there in the corner. So I just take the wood ash and I'll make a little pile right here for them. And then I'll just sprinkle it around the coop. Just uh, help keep the mites away and They like to eat the charcoal. So, yeah. We'll just throw it down there and let them go to town. So, that's what we've been doing on the homestead today. Taking care of the pigs and the puppy and the chickens and coop. Uh, we do a deep bedding on our coop, so I go in there about once a month and uh, clean it out real good and just make sure that it's healthy for our chickens. Um, I know that's really loud. And then, of course, we have our pet rooster a little bit. He doesn't like the chainsaw, so he's in here hiding. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dirt that we have and I'm going to put it on top of our compost pile with all the chicken manure and chips. And we're going to get that baby cooking. Whew. So I'll show you that all in a second. Show that to y'all in a second. Hey, there's our compost pile. I took a bucket and a half of dirt and put on top of it. Um, we're supposed to get some rain. If we don't, I'll come wet this down. But uh, we just keep adding our food scraps, clippings, and so forth and so on to it. 
and uh, hopefully by springtime we'll have some beautiful rich compost the soil I put on there was supposed to be super soil that we had bought from our local farm store and y'all you know, it wasn't so super so you know it's a uh, hard to know what you're getting all the time because you know everyone says oh we've got the best soil and we've got the best but we had to amend that soil so much in our raised beds and uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump it out where we had the chickens and we're gonna let it sit out of the boxes that we have them in now and uh, just let it do its thing and then we can plant in that area after it uh, has time to rest and regroup, if you will. All right, well, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. So what we've done is, you know, I said the soil wasn't that super, but actually, it is loaded with worms, which is a very, very good sign. And, uh, you know, I think it, it was user, user error. We put them in these boxes over here and it was such a heavy compost that it didn't drain well, even though we put the, uh, I can't think of what it's called, in with the soil to aerate it. Um, you know, it just got too heavy and too moist. But despite that, we have uh, some beautiful composition going on in the soil. So I am pleasantly delighted uh, to see that and then little bit he's gonna get in here and he's probably gonna be tilling the soil but it looks beautiful it does look very healthy and like I said it's loaded with worms and then we had a little hole in the ground here so I decided to do the huga culture in that hole and we're gonna dump some dirt on it and uh, we're gonna plant in this too, but we're, we're just gonna go ahead and put some dirt over it so it'll fill that hole up. And we're in our last container. The boss is over there, he's been helping me. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with our new little growing area. How big do you think this is, babe? Yeah, it's, it's not huge, but you know what? It's gonna grow a lot. All right, I got one more thing to show you. Okay, y'all. Uh, we have made a huge dent in here, and that is all we have left. We ran out of gas and uh, blade oil but look I'm gonna have another herb garden to grow in I was gonna cut that up and I said oh no it could be another herb garden so I'm super excited about that and then the branches we're gonna, we'll break those down and we will use those in our gardens when we plant, because we like to do uh, a little bit of hula culture. So all the pots are emptied. We're gonna have a new garden bed. And uh, like I said, I am super, super excited about it. Uh, 
it it ended up looking pretty darn good so i'm very very happy we got them out of those boxes and yeah another garden bed this one will be in the ground and uh we'll see what happens with it now i have to go clean that off where all the boxes were well, hope you enjoyed my day with me. I've been working like a dog. I'm out of breath. And it's a good thing. It's good to be out of breath because you've worked so hard. And uh, then I got to go feed the boss. This may be a leftover night. <laughs> Y'all, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Be blessed and love well. Bye now.